Would you like mine? I would very much like yours. Okay. Way to go, America. <laughs> America. Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And we are back with another Wild Card Wednesday video where we draw a sample at random from our pool of worldwide sipping spirits and we taste it totally blind so that you get the most honest opinions possible, separate and apart from any labels or hype or bias, price tags even. But what we will do is nose it and taste it. Mm -hmm. We'll give it a rating and then find out if the price changes that rating before we find out what we're drinking. We again do it this way so that we cut out all the fluff Yes. and get right down to what is in the glass. If you like that sort of thing and you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing because yeah. that's what we do over here. We would really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get this on the notes, see what we're working with. This is a strange one. I'm getting- Is it? Yeah. I'm getting like a hint of cinnamon mm -hmm. red hots. I can see your cinnamon. Like I, to me, it's a candied cinnamon. Yeah, like, like a candied the red cinnamon. hot specifically, yeah. like kind of a sugary cinnamony, but it's not in the front, it's in the back, but I can't, I can't get any other smell right now, so I think I might have to taste it and then come back to the nose. Well, at first, I was thinking just straight up bowl of fruit. All mm. different types of fruit. There's so many types of fruit in here, I couldn't even start to pick it apart. I'll just, you just fruit. Yeah, you just start naming them. But when you said the cinnamon red hots note, what I was actually starting to get was the darkness and the depth in here, and it started reminding me of that Christmas stovetop potpourri, where I can it's, see that. it's like it's got the it's got some orange in it, it's got some cinnamon in it, it's got this like richness to it. Is it there like usually a rosemary? I don't know. Thing in there. There's all kinds of stuff going on in this glass. Yeah. But it's it seems all bright, but there's is some depth there too. Yeah. That's anchoring it down, and just a, a touch of wood underneath everything that mm -hmm. is smelling really nice. Let's get this thing on the palate. I cannot wait to drink okay. it. Oh, wow. Ooh, it tastes kind of like cigarette ash. <laughs> I cannot disagree with that more. I have a an extreme aversion to all things cigarettes mm -hmm. and I'm not getting that at all on this. I am getting it. I could go with you on like a campfire ash, okay. like a burned log. It seems sure. like it- Ash, it, ash in some yeah. way, maybe it, not cigarette. It might be a peated scotch, which I'm assuming it is, but it's very lightly peated. Very lightly. Very lightly peated. But what you're getting is a little bit of the ashiness yeah. rather than all the smokiness. Yeah. But when like I, when I think the, campfire, I think smoke and I'm not getting a lot of smoke. I'm just getting the ash after right. the smoke, which is why I It's didn't, like the morning after. Which is why I didn't say campfire. Yeah, it's like the fire the morning after mm -hmm. and there is that smoking. Or like you're grilling something and you get like, you accidentally get it on the coals or something and it gets a little bit of ash on your food and there's like a little bit of aftertaste. Man, the fruitiness is coming through. It still has all that the, fruit on the palate. It's interesting because I'm not getting any smokiness or any hint that there might be an ashy taste on the nose. I am a little bit, just a, a the faintest hint. I'm not. Okay, it's coming into more balance now. Yeah, we definitely needed that second sip yeah. to acclimate. Oh, wow. Now it's hitting with like, whoa, this is wild. It's hitting sweetness up front, all that like fruity sweetness. Then it hits like oaky, touch of smoky, mm -hmm. touch of ashy. The ash actually is coming down. It is, yeah. And it's coming into balance with the woodiness. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a burst of fruity flavor on the back of the palate too. Oh, I'm not getting that. Like I'm getting, gusher style. I'm not getting the fruity burst gusher style, which I'm a little sad about because I love gushers. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm getting, a, it's a little bit drying on the back of my tongue, but the flavor itself is really good up until it gets to the back of my tongue. And then I feel like it's kind of dry. Like I need some water, Man. but the flavor's good. So I'm gonna take another sip with this cause I'm not, I don't have a rating yet. Yeah, what's surprising me is that it's a seemingly very well-crafted experience mm -hmm. overall. Like everything is is in balance now that we've had a couple of sips of it. Yeah. And it's just, it's a beautifully presented pour of what seems like a very slightly peated scotch. Of course it could be a single malt of somewhere else from the world. Yeah. And that wouldn't surprise me as well. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I need another sip. Man, yeah, this is setting in with like a really concentrated sweetness on the back of the palate. Not like a heavy-handed concentration, 
but See, it's just it's very sweet I'm, on the back of the palette. I'm getting the exact opposite on the back of the palette. Than that's you. that's crazy. I'm, it's drying to you. It's drying on the back of the palette, which is which is why I'm gonna give it just okay. I really like the flavor, but it's it's drying, and I don't like that. I, I like like what it seems to be is a very well crafted um, scotch, and I just don't want that dryingness when I drink a scotch. I think the dryingness might be a little bit of that ashy smokiness on the back end. I'm gonna go two thumbs up on this. I love this. The concentrated sweetness, and not like heavy handed concentrated sweetness, but just the pure sweetness that is in the glass, along with the smoke and the oak and all that stuff. Interesting. I like this a lot. Interesting. Border, basically, I love this. We gotta find wow. out the price and see if that will change our ratings or not. And then we'll find out what we're drinking. So okay. in our pool, this is $75. It's not bad. I'm, I'm staying two thumbs I'm up. I'm staying at just okay. I'm insulted by your rating almost. I like this I, so much. I know. It's just dry. I don't. That's okay. I had to drink water hey. after I had a sip. It was so dry to me. That's okay. That's okay. Everything hits people differently. Like different pores hit people differently is what I'm trying to say. So it yeah. tastes good though. I do want to don't, don't keep drinking. I want to drink the rest of yours okay. if you don't like it. I do want to make sure that it is noted that I do think this tastes good. It's just too drying. And that's my that's why my rating is what it is. Yeah, and that's not bothering me at all. I'm loving okay. it. All right. This is whoa. This is Westland American single malt. Oh, interesting. Wow. This is from the state of Washington. Washington. From the Pacific state. Northwest. Okay. 46% ABV. Okay. And this sample is thanks to Peter Fasciano from Whiskey is a Journey. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Peter. Man, thank you so much, Peter. This is like, this is amazing. Like, yeah. American whiskey can do this. Yeah, I would never have guessed that America did this. Yeah, I mean, it, it tastes... Good job, America. It tastes like a really good, very lightly peated scotch. Yeah, it, it does. I will agree with that. And this is an American single malt. 100%. Way to go, Westland. Yeah, wow. That's great. Very impressed with this pour, at least personally. I was two thumbs up. I, and you liked it. I, I mean, liked well, it. it. I just didn't like the finish. I didn't like yeah. the dryingness. You had to bump it down for that. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. So... If you like this video, go ahead and like it. And if you want to join us for a pour on one of our live streams, go ahead and hit that bell down there. It'll let you know we're going live. We do it once a month. We'd love for you to join in. Yep. And if you're not subscribed, again, go ahead and subscribe. This is what we do over here. Do we it. You don't want to miss it. You know you want to. And also, be good to each other. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.